Okay, what's the problem now? Shh. After his close encounter with the Nympho invaders, our hero finds himself unable to think of anything but this huge phallic mountain. And that's when I want to do the scene with the vat of mashed potatoes, but then we... I don't we, give uh, a crap about that! Just keep going, keep going. You mentioned something about some legal problem oh, on the yeah. phone. Congressman Alex Shrub has jumped on the pre-election bandwagon. He's going after the Puritan vote. Rumors are he's going to support measures to restrict, shall we say, the more fleshy oh, yeah. aspects of this nation's mm -hmm. great entertainment oh, yeah. industry. Okay, all right. Okay. Candy, okay, you know Candy. Shrub. Okay, you guys get up to anything Bob. kinky? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. All right, then. Oh, okay. yeah. All right. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Candy. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yes. I totally oh. got that. Was that part of the, uh, or was she talking to? Hey, I can never tell. Anyway, you're probably best following her after the shoot. See if she'll lead you to their new love nest. You got a camera? Yeah, get him a camera. Finally, a radio station for teachers and librarians. You've been enjoying pressing issues, but as is normal, you can't listen to an hour's worth of programming on this station without us begging for money. It's the Bi-Daily Begathon here on VCPR, where we hold your favorite shows hostage until you pony up some cash. You know what's so great about VCPR? It's like a shining torch of cultural enlightenment for Vice City. In these times of darkness, when the hordes are so uneducated they can barely understand multisyllabic phrases like, clean my shoes better, Marissa, or I'll report you to the IRS, or dialectical materialism. Isn't it pleasant to have a patronizing voice on the radio? That's right, Michelle. With the way things are going under Reagan, at any moment the unwashed Huns from the Midwest could descend upon Vice City and enslave the poets and postal workers and force us to watch network programming. That is a frightening thought. But like many things in life, you can throw money at something and feel better about yourself. VCPR is your public radio station, but you have to open your wallet. That's right. If you pledge at the $1,000 level, you'll get tickets for In the Future There Will Be Robots at the Vice City Arts Center. People who see that show say it's difficult to put into English. That must mean it's spectacular. Yes, but if you don't give money to VCPR, we could be thrown back to the Stone Age. Liberals will be set on fire in the streets. Give now. Let's return to pressing issues. Over to you, Maurice, in the studio. Useless, talentless asshole. You're correct. He is an asshole. I love those guys. Really professional and living proof that all of the best talent isn't on commercial networks. These people do it for love because they have integrity, just like me. We're back with pressing issues. I'm Maurice Chavez, winner of five public radio awards in the Vice City area, including Best Voice. On this show, we take complex issues and boil them down to simple ones so you can understand. On this segment of the show, we are discussing morality. Since the beginning of time, man has asked questions. Why are we here? What time is it? And is there a place around here a guy can get a drink? Early man, as seen in the Cave of Blasco, hey. in France, questioned the morality of making the mammoth extinct. I think we all know what happened there. Can, is it society's job me? to tell each other how to live? Oh, Alex. Recently, I mean, Martha. Considered passing what a public say? curfew that says nobody can be on the streets after 8.30 p.m. Of course, the bill didn't get passed, but it made people think. If you don't vote, you get morons in charge. Is that moral? I'm not sure.
Martha, someone's watching. How kinky. You, give me that camera. Give now. Call 866-9-SAVE-ME. We'll get you on the payment plan, and if you're paid in full on D-Day, you and your family will be safe. If not, you may have to choose to save yourself and leave the others behind. Hey, 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 stop selling things on my show. You're not a value sponsor who supports the art of public radio, buddy. I, for one, welcome our new Russian masters. We can learn so much from other cultures. Did you know in India, the women protest by setting themselves on fire? I tell you, next time the kids are screaming for ice cream and pop, I may just douse myself in kerosene. I use that as a threat to my kids all the time, so it's no wonder they're so screwed up. That's one of the tough things about being a mom, not ruining their lives with guilt. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't let my kids watch cartoons or slasher flicks. Really? That knife after... 